it's definitely the best final boss game. Final boss in the trilogy. Yeah. I mean, I can't say much for Legend of Sparrow. Or whatever, so... Hey, Shorty! Maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! <laughs> I gotta just show that rip to him as you can. So in case you forgot, this is who you're fighting. Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the Professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. This is a really cool boss though, because you're constantly on the move avoiding his attacks while trying to grab these orbs, which gives you, I think, like, three specific types of powers. Um, red, I believe, is the super flame, blue is the supercharge, and green is, like, this kind of, uh, rapid fire shot. Um, and it's really... Yeah, here we go. And it's really the only new one, because, like, the other two are things we've already seen before, but, you know, regardless of such, uh, Ripto tries doing the tries doing that exact same thing, grabs the orbs and tries to attack you with something like that weird bubble move that reminds me too much of his sparring of his Enter the Dragonfly boss. <laughs> uh, yeah. It'd be the other way around. Yeah. But yeah, like this is this is easily the best final boss. And my and my personal favorite boss in the in the trilogy, and <laughs> I don't know like this th this fight kind of redeems Ripto as a character. Well, not exactly, but I appreciate him for I appreciate this for the the game for at least giving him a good boss fight to end the game on. But, yeah, because this. It's pretty challenging, and it goes on for quite a bit, uh, which I guess is the only drawback. It, uh, I think if you die at any point, you have to restart from the scratch, and there's three phases, so yeah, be careful about that. But you know, Autumn. trying. Dang it. Yeah, the green, the green power-up is probably my favorite, just because it's the, I find it the easiest to, uh, uh, just get ripped over that. Ow. Dang it. I'm really, I'm doing really badly right now. I like how Ripto's supposed to be a villain for trying to attack the sheep, and yet Hunter's dropping them for you to kill anyways. Yeah. Remember, no har no sheep were harmed in the making of this game. So, like, got these, like, shockwave kind of things we saw from Crush. Ah, oh, yes. That was really good. And again, skill point for this boss, uh, just don't take any damage, which is easier said than done without um, the uh, post-game thing. We haven't had the supercharge yet. Dang it, nope, nope, nope.
But yeah, there's... I mean... You're actually fighting Riptor instead of, like, Nasty Knock, where you just kind of chase him. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. So what do you have to say about Riptor as a boss? Great. Better than that than Norn. Yeah. And a better boss than the Sorceress, which was really disappointing compared to this. But yeah, we'll, we'll... yeah, yeah. I hope Toys for Bob uh, adds some improvements that I'm not holding my breath. Yeah, because uh, when you when you have such a cool boss like this, you kind of expect the um, the the one in the third game to at least be. Um, Call it in, or like on par. Well, not maybe not like this as as good, but it's uh, it's such a downgrade to this that it's not even funny. Yeah, that's a supercharge. I like how he gets like a metal gulp, but uh, Crush is like non existent. So I guess Gulp is his favorite, <laughs> even though he ate his scepter earlier. Okay, that's interesting. This is getting pretty hectic right now. Oh, that was really good. Okay. I'd appreciate if the sheep went right up against him. Yeah, I don't. Wait, okay, how's this gonna work? Okay, so it's basically his. Uh, uh, it's basically Gob's regular uh, move on steroids. I like the choir music in the background. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh, come on. I thought it was done. At least it's a bigger... At least it's a bigger target to hit when you... When you're on gold. Yep. I'll see. I like the extra life is appreciated. You know, I have full health back. This is a boss that I'm excited to see in, in the remake. Also, look at Hunter back there. What the actual hell? He got a, the explosion knocked him down. Yeah. And by all counts, he's dead, but... He... Yeah, it looks really... St the, the animation looks really stiff and awkward. Like, it doesn't... look like it should happen, but... apparently it always does. And, uh... I mean, spoilers, I guess, but Hunter's alive after this, so... I guess that's one hint... Uh, of like Ripto, of how like Ripto survived in this, but yeah, the last part of this, you, you always have Super Flame and just flying around, which is a you know, I think I actually only glitched this fight out because after a certain point, Ripto starts circling around without even going to attack me. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, like. I think this is a nice way to end off the boss, and they try to do, to do this with the sorceress, but it just it's no 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 way near as effective. And you'd think he'd be dead by that from that, but he's not.
And to be fair, in Spyro Force case, it it that wasn't a thing they randomly came up with because you'll see later on that he's fine. Not in a cutscene, but still. And I guess like Hunter surviving it is, I guess, a, a hint. But I don't, I don't think know. We can ever thank you enough, Spyro. They didn't really explain any of it. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? Yeah. <laughs> Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? Yeah. Let me just type in um, the new them arms. There, Spyro, yeah, how is he supposed to grab? Like, you can grab, like, gems hey, why don't you guys come individually, with but hold back. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Well, says you, no, he didn't. <laughs> he, he did bugger old man. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up He put up a few banners. That's pretty much it. Like, like we've been saying, like, Avalo, Avalo was, like, digging its own grave. <laughs> uh, this is the only piece of recurring music in this trilogy. I think so. Like, the credits are basically the same in every game. Like, just the way it's, it's done, with all the names, like, popping Surely. in. And music is the same as well. I just like to imagine that this perspective of the, the perspective is from Spyro just flying around. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. All right, it's over, sort of. Yeah, I'm gonna hold. I'm holding off on final thoughts for now because we still got a little bit to go. Oh yeah, I got skill. Yeah, and we got um, got to do Dragon Shores because we actually get to see it, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Well, I'll count to sure. We'll probably just skip the credits if we have to beat Ripto again. Yeah, and we're we're gonna have to fight Ripto again anyway, so. I don't think you get secondary credits in Dragon Shores. No. It's just a, um, it's a bonus, but it doesn't really, it's a bonus, it's really, it's really just treated as a bonus level, it's not really like an epilogue. Yeah. Like it is an epilogue, but it's not. Like, it's like a... It's like give you... It's like uh, Sparrow actually gets to go on his vacation. And have some fun with these just the last few mini games or whatever. I don't know. I I I I like I uh, I like Dragon Shores just for the just for the fact that you see like um, it's like a what uh, what happens like right after the end of the game. And, uh, you know, Dragon Shores has been name dropped uh, constantly throughout the game, so it's nice that you actually get to see it. <sighs> Those are a lot of names. I hope they, uh, <laughs> I hope they, uh, uh, don't make the credits exactly like this in Reignite, because I assume the team would be a lot bigger than this, 
So just having like one name appear every time would make it a bit too long for its own good. Special thanks, Kazurai, Andrew Hauf, and Jack Trenton. They're all either gone from Sony or leaving Sony soon. Yeah. What yeah, happened to, to Jack? Uh, what happened to Jack Trenton? He just was retired in uh, 2013. 2014, he just left. Oh, okay. Hmm. Wait, they credited Spyro's voice actor to the bar to do anyone else? No, okay, of course. Let me the rest. Never mind. Tom See, Kenny. Melissa Disney. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Melissa Disney. She is related to the Disney family. Oh, wow, nice. Extra special thanks. I sometimes forget that Scratch and Spire were designed by the same person. Oh, yeah, they were, yeah. Hmm. Wait, Dragon Shores, post game. Called Dragon Shores, but there's like no dragons there. Yeah. That's well a surprise. Done, Pyro. Step right on into Dragon Shores Park. Yeah, I think these guys are actually meant to be Norgs. By the way, if you win ten tokens, you can visit our theater. So, um. Yeah, they are Norgs. Yeah. I mean, they're not all bad. Uh, apparently so. So this is what you get for getting all the orbs and the gems. Super, f- infinite super flame. Yeah. And basic, yeah, basically, uh, this is the uh, the easiest way to get the um, the boss's skill points because you just spam this. And they ca- they have nothing to do, and they just get stun locked. And I wonder if I can cheese this. I can. Does it count? Hey, <laughs> that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this token for being such oh, a wow. good shot. That's amazing. Okay, I'll do this one uh, legit. The guy's going to this drown. Yeah. But this is a pretty uh, harmless uh, post-game reward. Um, and <laughs> sure. yeah, yeah. You see a lot of the characters wow, you've you seen really in the in the Take game. It's my last token. And uh, most of the mini, pretty much all the mini games. Uh, well. Besides one thing, has uh, have three tokens each. Welcome to the Dragon Shores coaster. Here at the shores, we don't just ride though. If you can pop all the balloons on the track, a token is waiting for you. Ready to ride? Watch so I like how Sparks is just doomed there. to stay it's green. A crowded track today. Uh, but like. <laughs> Why would you? What? That. What is that baby doing there? Yeah. You should probably think about uh, getting him off the track. Just saying. And that one too. What is this? It's meant to be a like a theme park. Why is it like? Here's a token for you. It's like, uh, why is it life threatening? All right, I'll flip this switch and now you can ride more tracks. See if you can pop the balloons on these tracks too. Watch out for the other coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. Uh, but like, I'm not sure uh, whether or not I, oh crap. Jeez. <laughs> Ow, that looks One like hospital trip later. Yeah. The Watch out. At least Sparks is fine. But like... I don't know. Uh, uh, 
out, out of all, the, all of the uh, bonus worlds in the series, this is this is by far the easiest one. Um, and probably the, the, the probably the most chill because of that. Uh, but I don't know. Um, I I probably. I'd probably say the one in the third game is my favourite just because it has more of a that final challenge kind of level to it. Um, and Spyro 1 had an interesting gimmick with... Dang it. <laughs> had an interesting gimmick with like the, the higher you were, the, the more... the higher you could fly. Um, I like... I like the post level, you know, the post level Spire works on the basis of the fact you're basically looting nasty. Yeah. And that did feel <laughs> really satisfying, like, especially in the last frame. So, like, I don't know, I, th this one's fine. It has uh, some fun little mini games to end off the game, but if I'd have to compare this to the others, this would probably be my least favorite overall, uh, because. It doesn't necessarily, it doesn't really have that that satisfactory uh, thing with the nasty's loot or uh, or an interesting gimmick uh, like just being able to fl infinitely fly pretty much and it doesn't really have a really challenging last gauntlet like Spyro 3 does but. I don't know, for what it is, for what this, for what uh, Dragon Shores is, it's a nice little epilogue, epilogue thing. And it, oh, I had to jump for that. Okay. I thought I'd just be able to pop that by just moving. But yeah. Rounds off the game pretty nicely, and you get to see a lot of the characters again, which is appreciated. There's one more run, and you're on a roll. There's a cannon installed on your car for this run, and you'll have to shoot balloons too. Are you gonna give it a try? This is not a safe theme park at all. Watch yeah. Out for the other coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. All right. Yeah, this is really not that much more difficult than the other ones. Oops. What? Yeah, I'm just gonna take the normal loop around and then. I feel like they, they should have placed the balloons that you can just pass by um, a little bit lower because it doesn't always feel like you can reach them. No, regardless. Dang it. Oh, okay, that work that works. <laughs> Alright. Destroy the track. There we go. Wow, you're a natural. You've conquered the coaster. Here's my last token. Why is natural spelled with a G? Hmm? You said you're a natural. Why wasn't that why was that not spelled with a G? Mm hmm. <laughs> Hi, you Spyro. I hear you're a pretty good shot. How'd you like to try my shooting gallery? Speaking of uh, G's, I like how everyone's name starts with a G here. 
just to go, okay, go with the whole Nork the thing. Kill the duckies because... Why not? Spiral's killed everything today. Pretty much. How long do you think Spiral was doing all of this? Nice shoot. Uh, that is a good question. Ready this is very small world? for a theme park, so okay, I'll I can't really up. imagine. Also, I like how we just activate Super Flame. Like, you just see Spyro just turn red there. But after, like, Spyro, like, going through all the stuff in Avalar, maybe, like, a... Maybe, like, the rest of the day? I don't know. I actually meant in general, like, how long do you think he was in Avalar? Oh, how... Oh, in Avalar. Uh... That is a very good question. Because like, at the start of the game, it's like, I'll be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. So if we, if we, if we like, assume, like, um, the start of the game is, like, right in the morning, then I guess by the time he gets right. here, here is my last token. it'll be, like, 2 p.m., maybe? I don't know. Provided the... Spiral was actually right in that regard. Free, free, free. You pay no money down and it's never no it, it's not pay. really clear how return, long give you one token. the games one take can give, but you can ride like as many times in as in, you in universe. Hop aboard, my friend. Hey, look, I'm a little class. What are they called? Hand the panel and Greta. Yeah. I thought they were like aren't they supposed to be siblings? Like they are siblings. I think they're just riding for fun. <laughs> I mean, I hope, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Why is he alone? As promised, here's your one token. When you have ten, try visiting the Norm Dragon McDonald's. Shores Theater. <laughs> I think, uh, I think it, it's randomized who Spar ends up riding with. Well, Spyro, it's your lucky day. That will be hilarious. To enter the famous Dragon Shores Theater. Go on in and enjoy the show. Yeah, so, uh, before I knew what that skill points were a thing, uh, I thought this was where you saw the, uh, special ep epilogue, and, but... This is just a way to see all the cutscenes in the game, so um, which is kind of cool because I don't we didn't really have stuff like YouTube at the time where you could just view the cutscenes online, so that's cool I suppose. No, 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 no. I just want to see if I could if I could jump up there. Yeah, that's pretty much what Dragon Shores has. And there's a pool for some reason, even though. See dragon statues. I think, are those just the models from Spyro 1? I think they are, because, um, that one there looks very familiar. Um, and that one's probably, uh, reused as well. Thank you for releasing me! Yeah. Can't wait to hear 50 renditions of that again. 80. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, Fire One is a big game. Alright. So, first off, let's just take care of Gulp. Because, like, right now we just need to get the skill points pretty much. Um, and if we missed one, we're, then we're gonna have to just look at what we've done, I guess. Oh. Almost done, folks. 
Yeah, about you mean time. The hmm? You mean the game or us? <laughs> or the game. Uh I mean Are we finished with the game or is the game finished with us, Harry? I mean I mean the game is probably tired of us ragging on it. <laughs> on your dragon in a few weeks time, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when we're gonna start that, but I don't wanna do that right away. No, you still gotta do, do Donkey Kong 64. Kill me. Faro actually looked like he was screaming when he fell. Goodness, this is terrifying. This is literally all you need to do. <laughs> Did we actually hit Rip though? Uh, yeah, we. Yeah, we, I believe we did. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Thankfully, it whoops us to Winter Tundra so we can just go to Ripto right away. Uh, and this. The we first two phases are easy because you can just spam the thing like normal, but the third one. Doesn't change at all because you already have super flame to begin with, so we're gonna actually have to try for that part. So. Oh, You're the dragon, also warps you to the next watch, you beat the boss, but since there's um, some special level that you actually have to go back for, it's kind of inconvenient. Yeah. No! <laughs> Alright, rip those rage, round two. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he can be a little bit worrying at the start though, because he's, he's going to move around pretty quickly and he's a, he's a relatively small target. Still bigger than Spyro somehow. Yeah. But this same song it does as the gold one. He gets pushed like, back, but nothing you can't handle. Remember when we you know, remember when you played Super Mario Galaxy and you discovered that Bowser Jr. is somehow bigger than Peach now? Yeah, what was up with that? <laughs> why was why was Junior like massive? Because dad's always changing sizes in the games too. Yeah. I'm used to Bowser having varying sizes, but Junior is always just shrimp to me. Yeah. So it's just, it was really weird saying that. Like, imagining him any taller than Luigi is just weird. Yeah. Okay. Alright, the good news about this phase is that it's probably the easiest Ripto phase, anyways. Yeah! But, considering that we. This is the only part where he could, he can really hit me, is worrying. <laughs> he doesn't take that long to, uh, to get rid of though. And ah, I messed up. Dang it. dang it, I had to kill myself. You did say kill me earlier. That is true. Alright. Thankfully, it doesn't, it doesn't take too long to get back to that. Because we're just spamming this. One of the pieces hit Hunter and sent him flying, but then he kind of tumbled and then I think he hit the castle and then slid down. Huh. Well, that makes a bit. That, I guess that's why he's just, he's just kind of sliding down. Yeah. Slowly. I w I hope. I wonder how how they're gonna do that in very night because you know. Looks really weird. It's just kind of kind of weird how they, that happens, and he like supposedly falls into the lava, but like he's fine, and they don't really ever mention that 
Because I... Yeah, I'm, I don't know, Zoe and the fairy saved them. I, I don't know. I guess. My family's playing Madagascar 3 on a TV downstairs, and that's... Huh. Now I want to watch it. I don't even... I think I've seen 1 and 2. 3 is my personal favorite, it's just colorful. Yes! And, uh, and it's gonna probably do the ending again. We killed a Ripto, kind of. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch this again. So do we get final? Oh, never mind. Well, we go, we go, we go look through the ep epilogue. Hopefully we've got everything, so now we should be able to, yep, so skill points, uh, <laughs> see all these, well done, yay, so I don't really, I don't know exactly how it lays them out if you don't have them all already, but, yep, there you go, the adventure continues. Gulp found a new life at the Society for the Protection of Abused Men, <laughs> Monsters Petting Zoo. So Gulp's fine. That did not, that did not last long. <laughs> Some of the Earth Shapers joined the Fawn Dance uh, troop in Fracture Hills. <laughs> uh, one of Smyro's friends found a new toy. I love that. So, who? But yeah, Ripto survived, so... Ripto looks like a Muppet. Yeah. And get to see... A I, I'm pretty sure that's a reused Spyro 1 model as well, but yeah, like, it would have, I, I would have liked if they actually said how he survives, because he just kind of does. Oh, well, uh, dinosaur skin. Hunter's scuba diving career got cut a little short. Yeah, you might want to get away. <laughs> Money bags swindled <laughs> the bone builders one time too many. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he, he, why does he wear? Why does he wear a shirt and shoes but no pants? Yeah, but like, Money Bags gets like constantly like beaten up pretty Pissed much. On. And, yeah, <laughs> like especially in Sparrow Three. Agent Zero found some new recruits to train. Yeah, I can see that, that makes sense. The Ice Builders finally made it to Colossus for the big hockey game. That's nice. Yeah, they actually have some closure to that. <laughs> the chef finally got the host a hot tub pie. <laughs> Yay! I had to stop you from, stop you um uh, get uh, uh cooking some turtles or whatever. But uh, the chef should have been a recurring character too. <laughs> that would be that would have been fun. Spyro misses chance for Laura. Rip. Did he Cro miss it or did he intentionally <laughs> avoid it? Hmm. <laughs> Cross decided to pursue high learning. Oh man, that's funny. Spyro was confronted by the black sheep of the herd. Oh, oh they man. They black or they just burn them. <laughs> yeah. I just find that funny, the fact that they made the, the black sheep model just for that. <laughs> and all this. Gardus Fioritium Catabatus. Yeah. I, I, the, halos over their heads. Yeah, I, I like this, because it's like, th these are all like scrapped enemies that were supposed to be in the game, but weren't, uh, that, that oh, weren't put in. For whatever yeah, I never reason. got these pages. Yeah, this is what you get for getting every skill point, because uh, um, I think. I, I I don't know how it works exactly, but the more skill points you get, the more of the epilogue you can see. Yeah, well, I didn't get any of the speedway at skill points, so that's probably why I didn't get these. Okay. Mask Mr. Fistus. 
armor pillow. Armor pillow. But it's, it's fun to speculate where these enemies would appear, like, because, like, the, there's, there's, prob there's probably Fist. a lot of, like, <laughs> worse. <laughs> Mr. Fist just didn't have a halo over his head. No. And I always love that shot. That is a cool shot. Uh, but, like, I like how, I don't know, I, I like that you get to see some scrapped enemies that were supposed to be in the game, but got cut due to specific reasons. Uh, I don't know. Uh, That's a really nice shot, they're finally friends. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll probably just pause um, and like have like a, a an image on the screen uh, while we talk about the game in general, so um, I might as well save as well first. Um, but yeah, what can I say about Spyro 2? Um, that you I haven't in... already said. <laughs> hmm? That you haven't already said. Yeah, I, I pretty much said all I need, all I needed to at this point. So if I just get a quick general rundown, um, I I do enjoy the game for what it is. Um, it's a competent Spyro game, and it's it is my it's still my least favorite of the trilogy. Um, I again I think the level design is a bit too basic. Uh, for my standards, and it doesn't really try that many interesting things uh, with Spyro's movement. Um, you don't really see too many instances of um, where you have to think outside the box, like in Spyro 1 or 3. Um, um, a lot of the... A good chunk of minigames, not all of them, are either too easy or have mind-boggling design choices that make them kind of annoying to play sometimes, whether it be like a camera angle issue or just weird design like the Alchemist mission. Uh, the backtracking, uh, like I said, can be a, can be a problem sometimes and uh, and makes a game that already had pretty iffy, um, uh, was it? Or already had pretty iffy pacing, uh, have even worse pacing than it already has, and uh, that could have been done without, but I don't know, like, in terms of, like, just, uh, in terms of positives, like, game, game, uh, visually is a big, is a pretty big step up from Spyro 1, and as a world, I do really like Avalor, um, it's probably more in, the most interesting world in the trilogy, um, especially since you have stuff like Zephyr and, um, or whatever the other level was, where you have those two species at war with each other, um, which is nice little world building, which is not really seen in the other games. And, you know, I like, I like that there's actual characters that, uh, you talk to and there's population as opposed to Spyro 1, which was literally... A wasteland minus the dragons you had to save, um, which I no I appreciate that and um, you know uh, for like the uh, for like characters and stuff uh, this game is definitely a step up from Spyro One and um, I like that there's an actual main cast of characters here and they're all pretty entertaining. Um, you get the introduction to money bags. And uh, Hunter, which both became mainstays, um, and Rip Ripto is a again, like I said, he's a he's a fun villain, and I like his can I like his chemistry with Spyro because he's the only villain out of, out of the three in the trilogy that actually say like actually uh, talk to Spyro specifically. It's like and like. You know, I, I find that enjoyable. Um, but like I said, Ripto as an actual villain falls flat. He doesn't really have... He doesn't really seem to have a ma an actual goal besides just ruling over Avalar. And he, like, see... Like, it's... In, it's hinted at that he, hate, he has, like, a hatred towards dragons, but it's never really explained why. Um... Like, none of his backstory is really explained. 
none of the citizens really seem to care that Ripto's around. And considering the fact that this game is called Ripto's Rage, you expect him to uh, have more more of an impact on what's going on in Avalar itself. And that just isn't really the case. Um, and I don't know. If I can credit... Again, if I can cred credit Ripto for anything, he has a really solid boss fight. Um, the bosses in general are a massive step up from Spyro 1, which... I struggle to even call those stages bosses, or like those things bosses, but... They're glorified thieves. Pretty much. Uh, but like... I don't know. I don't really have much to say about the music itself, because... Like I said, I... I the, the music in Spyro is, uh, is usually something I like listening to in the moment when I'm playing, but... They aren't the most. They aren't usually the most memorable tracks for me personally, for the most part. Um, and I don't really look uh listen to the listen to them on, on my on my off time. Um, and I guess like other things, I ag again I think they should have they should have had a fourth home world to try and and try and uh, balance out the uh, levels a lot better because the first two worlds um autumn plains especially has have too has too many levels and then winter tundra has a lot less and it just has really weird pacing issues um but like in in general though i i do really, i still really enjoy spyro 2 for the most part despite all all of that and I have a, I don't know, I have a decent amount of fun with this game, but if I, if I were to uh, play a game in the trilogy, this is the one I would go to, I, I would go back to the least, because uh, Spyro 1 is very quick and snappy, um, it's simplistic, but I like that, and um, it has a lot of fun little platforming challenges, in the game, and it's very quick and easy for me to just sit back and replay. Um, and Spyro 3 basically just does everything Spyro 2 does, but better, in my opinion. Um, there are there are issues that are exclusive to Spyro 3, which we'll we'll, we'll discuss uh, as well uh, when we get to that, but. I don't know, Spyro 2 is just kind of a, in a weird middle ground where it's trying to be um, more, it's trying to have a lot more fluff um, than Spyro 1, but it doesn't really reach um, the quality of Spyro 3 uh, for me, and it, it's just kind of in a weird middle ground where it doesn't really do anything exceptionally well. But it's still overall a, a a pretty good game. Um, but if I had to choose, this would be my personal least favorite in the trilogy. I'm not saying it's a bad game, and again, it uh, it's a it's probably the best. It's probably the uh, the best Spyro game to start with. It's uh, generally a pretty easy game, uh, and you you could get introduced to the series pretty well with this one, I think. Um, but, yeah, if th this is not one I tend to replay. And if I had to choose, I'd pick the other games any day. But that's pretty much what I have to say. <laughs> well, um, you covered a lot of my thoughts. I, I'm not trying to call Spiral 2 the least favorite of the trilogy, but... I don't think I have a favorite, to be honest. Um, it's between Spyro 2 and Year of the Dragon, actually. Um, okay. I do think Ripto's Rage is the best starter, probably the best starter game for new fans. <clears throat> like it's got a bit more... It's obviously got some vast improvements over the first game, especially in the boss fights, but not quite as hyper... But at least it's a bit more focused in Spyro 3. Mm. 
I still, to some extent, I still prefer Spyro 2's variety, but I can appreciate Spyro 2 for being a mostly focused experience. Yeah. And as someone who started with the later games, on like in the early 2000s, I do it, I do appreciate that this game kind of introduced a lot of the serious staples, you know, Ripto, Hunter, money bags. Yeah. Like, it, like it's this is basically when Spyro this, this is when the series really starts to kind of form its identity. Yeah, I can see that. Like Spyro One doesn't really have a main cast of characters to speak of, so it's nice to actually have the like an actual definitive main cast to to speak of and like have cutscenes with and all that okay. I do like the yeah I appreciate the world having like talking actual characters now yeah you know, they're kind of assholes to each other but hmm. it gives the world personalities trolls are good as they're about as good as the first game and I think I said you've covered most everything I wanted to say. All right then. Uh, is there any any other closing words? Ah, to paraphrase Insomniac Games, we will. I will just say until next time, friends. All right then. So um, with that said, uh, when we will take, I don't I don't know how long a, the break will be but we'll probably take like a week or so um a break from Spyro before we enter Year of the Dragon but that's actually gonna be right um that's actually gonna be the playthrough we're doing um shortly after this because again Reignited is coming out in September and I want to get these games done before they before that collection comes out um so we'll see you in like a week or so uh, for Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. So, I have been Super Mario Sonic Lover. I am Sparks of Dragonfly. <laughs> and we'll see you guys very soon for, again, Spyro 3. So, we'll see you guys then. And if this video somehow gets uploaded early, happy 3, everyone. Indeed. We'll see you guys then. And happy E3. <laughs> At the time of this recording, we're from the. F well, you guys are from the future, we're from the past. <laughs> Nintendo will have the best showing, maybe. Okay, if, if we're in the if if we're in the 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 past, um, I'm gonna say this. Uh, by the time this comes out, we're gonna see, Ice Climbers, Wolf, Snake, Rayman, uh, <laughs> um, Bomberman, Summon Belmont. And I don't know. Dante right? from the Devil May Cry series. Yeah, there you go. We'll, all all of those characters are going to be uh, put into Smash. And Knuckles. And um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Good see night. see you guys later.